make the seashells now in yellow and the sponges. So for that, we're gonna use a little bit of cornstarch because you don't want it to get sticky and you spread it. With the painting tool, make little holes around the sponge, making sure that you lower the size of each ball. For the seashells, cut little balls and press gently with the seashell tool. We're gonna start working with the orange right now. So what do you wanna do? This one, make sure that you have a really good coat underneath of cornstarch or sugar, okay? Because you don't want it to get sticky because you have to stretch it really thin. Stretch it to be paper thin and take three tips with different sizes. Then make holes all over them and make sure you cover the borders. When you get the shape you want, Grab aluminum paper and wrinkle a little piece. Place your orange plant on it and let it dry to create a waving shape. For the anemones, stretch the orange fondant and cut it in about 1 inch pieces. You put them like this and you press a little bit in the bottom and then you grab your tool and you Dig a little hole in the top. And that's your anemone! Ta-da! With the pink fondant, do the same pieces you just did in orange and then glue four of them together. If your fondant is dry, just grab a small brush and water and make the bottom part of each one a little wet to glue them together. For the algae, we will use the green fondant. Stretch it, but not too thin. Cut it in stripes that are not too straight. You see, sea plants move and they don't have the same shape all the time. The thicker part is going to be your base. The top part has to have a tip. If you don't have it, just make it. Then you fold it and twist it like this and make a base for them to stand up. Then set aside and let dry out. 